Okay, hello everyone and welcome to first AKN review on MI Coach by Adidas on the iPhone 3GS. This app works identical on the iPhone 4. So let's go straight ahead and load it up. Like you can see I've got a lot of apps there on that page. It's, you know, there's a lot of pages on. Um, I'm going to do a view on geocaching soon, but just now let's load up MI Coach. Okay. I'm going to show you it working when we get it all set up. Okay, you have to enter your pin. Two minutes. Okay, and you set up a pin like that. Okay, I've not actually set up an account yet, but there's my email address. That's where you send all your emails if you want to contact me. So it's noxnox13 at gmail.com. You enter your password, or you can go in as a guest. That's what I'm going to do. You are there. Obviously, you have to click next. Searches for your GPS, didn't mean to pause that. Okay, it's found the GPS. So now what you do, so you have that wee page there, see? Okay, it's just said it's found the GPS. My volume's right up, so it wasn't that loud. So like you can see, I've got full signal. Wait, have I got it on macro? Yes, I have. Full signal on 02. And this wee symbol here, which means... GPS, okay, there's a van just coming past, so I'm just going to move in and let that go past, and then we'll get straight onto the view. This tells your average speed, uh, well, your average speed's there, but it also tells you your current speed. It's not too accurate, but it's really good if you don't have a speedo. Okay, nice big jeep, right. Okay, we're just going to turn it around. Like I say, this works on, I've had my friend test it on his iPhone 4, when I get my iPhone 4, we'll test out. But um, it works on all I uh, iPhones so far. I think apart from iPhone One, first gen iPhone, first one that was out. I'm not sure it works on that. Works on all the rest: 2G, 3G, and the four. Actually, I'm not too sure on the the 2G, but I will check it. It'll be in the description. Okay, so let's set off. Okay, that that's me burnt three calories just from riding around that. This is my old bike, so I'm not used to riding it. Okay, so we're just rolling down the hill. Got 0 0.2 miles, sorry, 0 0.02 miles. Okay, we're just gonna go down here. It is on a sort of hill, 0 0.04. Speed up in a minute. Let's just try to hold the camera at the same bit. This is actually my case tripod on my bike. It's really just a, a case attached to the bike, but I can still do. Easiest thing to do. Go a bit higher, you can speed up a bit. Okay, so like you can see, I'm going eight miles an hour. It's either measured in miles an hour, you can change it to kilometers if you want. But I prefer miles an hour if you're American. I think you work it all out as in kilometers. Uh, also in any other parts of Europe really but um, anyway so that's miles per hour you can change it in the settings I will show you that when we get to the bit up here where we're going to stop so we've gone 0 0.22 miles it show it does a really cool feature when we stop which I will show you sorry about the shaky camera I've not got my tripod attached from a bike because like I say my proper bike's in for repairs so when I get that done I'll get my tripod on and the reviews will be better up my bike 0 0.28 miles so far. 29, 0 0.030. Obviously this will go forever. You can cycle 50 miles, 100 miles. Not sure you'd want to or you could. Um, on a racing bike, like my racing bike, I've had that up to 30 miles an hour on the speedo and it worked out really well. Speeded right up. At some points the GPS gets low but it does tell you so if you get in a GPS lower it won't just completely cut off it'll tell you because it works it out slowly. Okay so we're stopped now so you can see ground's not moving. Okay um okay so we've gone that's how long we took that 13 calories burnt we've gone 0 0.37 miles and we've our average speed then was 8.7 
So that's this pause there, that's this lock, so you can lock it and it's just a wee scroll bar. Pause and finish, so we're going to click finish. It says finish workout, yes. Did I click that? Yeah it did. Right, it tells you your summary rating. Let's rate that three stars. And then you click done up here. And then your shoes, it tells you about your shoes. You can add them in, you know what I mean? Shoes. And then whatever you set it up online. Then you free cycle and then you click finish. Okay, save and sync to MI Coach is the best idea if you ever want to watch your workout. Um, I, I obviously do when I'm finished, and I'm just going to show you a cool feature for this bit here. Sorry about the wind, it is a quite windy day. Trees are moving a wee bit, like you can see. It's not too windy. There's a lot of cars, so that might be what the noise is if you're wondering. Okay, it's synchronising, it is taking quite a while. So. While that's synchronizing, I will be back when it is done. Okay, and that's it, just finished synchronizing. It took a total of 33 seconds. I did a quick, like, record of the ground just while it was recording, just to time it so you didn't have to watch it. Once it's done, this is the page you haven't, I haven't gone on and clicked any buttons. It took me straight to this page. Okay, you have your rating, you've rated it obviously three stars because it was an amazing workout. Four minutes, nine seconds. 0.38 miles, blah blah blah, I've gone through that. You've got your chart, route and shoes. I've showed you the shoes, but root is a cool feature I was going to say. Okay, it fetches that, it shouldn't take too long, it depends on the GPS, for some reason the GPS is gone. But, I thought the GPS stayed on throughout the whole app it did the other day. Okay, and this is the route I've came. Okay, I came down this road here. Sorry, one minute. I've sort of done a triangle to think about it. Straight line, but I've came from here, went straight to there, and then that's the big hill we went round, and then that's around the bridge, and now we've stopped here. You can zoom in on that map. We'll take a minute to fetch it. Okay. I'll, I'll let you see this, but because it, it should only see it's 50%, 90%. Okay, and it's zoomed in. Right, like you can see a turned circle there. Did I? Yeah. So that that's correct. That's worked out really well. You've got satellite and terrain. The terrain works as satellite. doesn't always work. It depends. If you're in the big city, it'll work. If you're not, it might not. I can hear a car coming, so sorry if it's loud. Tractor maybe. So that's it's a tractor. It's taking a lot longer to think so I'll come back when Okay and this is terrain. So like I was saying, here it is you can see sort of see the bumps. I mean it's not the best but you can zoom out. Now it's gonna take its time fetching but like you've seen that's all I've seen. It doesn't show you much more but if you're in a heli bit say see that hill up there if you climbed up there, it would show you in sort of a 3D, so I'll cancel that, just go back, there you go, you can delete the workout, you can put notes, so you could say, is, taking a while now, I've got my um, 3G internet on there, through my O2 contract, but, okay, I think you have to add in the notes, but these are the old ones I did, these are just test ones I did, so, did one on the 9th, my average was 9.6 miles an hour, so that was on the 10th, but they're all practices, my usual average is a lot faster. So anyway, thank you for watching this review, hope you enjoyed it, MI Coach is free from the App Store, look on the top 20 or you can search it. If you'd like to look at the top 20 on the App Store, on my channel there is app weekly i do every saturday go through all the top 20 so i'll go through top 20 paid top 23 and every week i do a couple of apps from each list to show you mi coach was on this time let her go perth um but it will not be on this week i will put a link on it so if you want to watch that it will be on this saturday or episode one was back this today is Monday, so episode three of um, episode three of AK News. 
is on this week and hope you enjoyed this review thank you for watching cheers